everyone. So I often get a lot of questions about where to start with a transformation program. Where do we start with transformation design? Well, for the month of February, our theme is all around finance and changing financial practices. And it happens to be one of the places that um, I will often start, if I can, when we are looking at building a responsive organization. And here's why. In any program, I always ask myself, how much coercion is enough and not too much when implementing a collaborative, open, decision-making uh, way of working? How much coercion is too much when implementing a non-coercive system? And this, this kind of question comes up at various points when we're talking about change resistance or um, a particular process that's not working the way we want it to. Uh, it, the question comes up again and again and again. And so part of the reason I go to finance first, if I can, is that it's this ability to be a little more coercive in what we're doing. So when we go after changing financial practices, uh, we are able to gain some attention and equally, if we do it right, we gain a lot of credibility in the organization for the changes that we're trying to implement. Finance are like, I love you dearly, but you are some of the toughest people to convince often in change because there's a lot of structure, there's a lot of routine, um, they're often beholden to auditors. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes with the financial operation of an organization. It's numbers based, um, you know, we tend to take the context uh, out of conversations to a degree and look at the numbers. Um, there's, there's all those tendencies. I'm not saying it happens everywhere, but there are those factors in that particular part of the system and the organization as a whole that tend towards certain behaviors around structure, um, action-oriented power-based language, um, routine, process, not wanting to change for fear of not being able to deal with the uncertainty. We like things to be certain when we're dealing with finance. And so if we can win finance over, then we earn a whole bunch of credibility with the organization because yes, finance like all this structure, but equally super smart people. And when you get them on board because they see the validity in the way that you're working, then they become a really big advocate for you in the change that you're trying to develop. And you can start to put pressure on other parts of the organization because everyone has to go to finance for money at some point. So finance is one of the key areas that I will start with whenever I'm looking at designing a transformation. Even if it's just simply building those relationships up front and early so I know who the financial controllers are for um, the group that I'm working with, uh, putting some of that networking in place so I've, I've got someone to call, um, or if it's going into a lot more detail and actually we're going to start an intervention within that, uh, that investment management group, for example. Um, finance is always one of the first places I go to. So it's got a dual effect. Number one, everybody has to go to finance for money. So if we're talking about projects, if we're talking about operational spend, finance are in the conversation. And so there's an element of coercion in choosing to get the finance team on board so that you can then drive change through the rest of the organization. And equally, there's a whole bunch of credibility that comes with being able to have that team side by side with you as you're delivering this change. Making sure that you're delivering uh, in a structured approach that the organization can handle um, and equally potentially putting a few breaks on here and there uh, where people like myself love to go off on a tangent and you've got a team of people that are sort of, oh, let's reel it back in for a bit. So those are the two reasons I go to finance first. Um, yes, customer demand, yes, all of those things I preach and I will always make sure that I've got a finance colleague on the phone from the get-go. They're some of the most important people in helping you to change the systemic measures and the systemic pieces within the organization that either encourage or disable change. So you wanna to go to finance first. Later on uh, next week, we're gonna be talking about changing financial processes. So keep an eye out for those vlogs. And I hope wherever you are in the world today, you're having an awesome, awesome day. I will see you again next week.